Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about an arch based distro that's new. It's still in pre release phase. It's only on a preview. It hasn't officially been released yet, but it has its own customized GNOME desktop. It also has an AUR helper that was written specifically for it. It also uses uh, a new installer um, that is not Calamaris, but it's easy to install. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that here right now. Crystal Linux. We are into it. It looks just like GNOME. It's only it's known as our Onyx desktop. It uses the Jade installer to install. So we're going to go to settings here first, and we're going to look for displays right here. Here we go. We're going to change this to 1920 by 1080. We're going to hit apply, and we're going to keep changes. Wow. See, if you right click on it, let's go to change background so we can switch to ooh, global dark theme i like that i think they should always have dark themes involved you know right off the bat instead of the light theme i don't know why it always does that but i digress let's see what this one does Ooh, let's click that one yeah we're gonna do that so we'll close out of this there's our new wallpaper nice let's go to settings uh, if we go to settings, it's got your typical settings panel for kind of GNOME based settings panel. You do your network, your appearance, which is basically your backgrounds and your style uh, notifications. Uh, you can change, turn on and off, which apps give you notifications, all that good stuff. Sound profiles, obviously here you can choose your devices as well as your system volume uh, limits and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of stuff like that. Power management, displays. Um, all the good stuff is right here for you to be able to adjust it under users. You can add new user, delete a user, give user you know privileges, that kind of stuff. Uh, so, uh, date and time is obviously that you can change date and time and about this is Arch Linux device name in memory is 3.9. I've given it six cores of my processor. It's doing, you know, software rendering because it's uh, in a virtual machine, 21 gigs. Uh, the GNOME version is 42.4. It's op working off of Wayland, so it's looking good. Looking good. So we're going to close out of that. Now, if you look at the top here, <clears throat> at the top, you have your standard panel. Uh, it's got your activity center over here, which will open up for you to be able to get to your launchers that you want you know your apps and stuff like that so it's got the ssh uh avahi ssh server browser it's also got the sir uh, the vnc browser you've got a weather app it's got clocks zero config browser extensions where you could add your google your your um extensions uh firefox which let's open that up and see which one it's using mm hmm interesting it is going to be doo -doo -doo, 106.01. Wow. So there's that. Open up an amazing internet. Uh, set up in seconds. What? Import. Now we're going to skip that step. Choose what color I want to set it up to be. Let's go with the purple. We're going to set and continue. And nope, we're going to skip this step. And we're going to start browsing. And now our Firefox is completely set up and it's up and running. Of course, you could always change that color through the settings manager uh, in here under settings and probably under appearance somewhere. Uh, I'm not going to look for it right now. I don't, I don't want to take my time on doing that but i'm sure you could change that very easily um yeah yeah i'm sure you can do that you can google on that it's the new firefox so it's very cool it's very clean very neat i like that it's got it comes with new stuff like that already installed okay um for under utilities 
you've got the probably gnome image viewer right which is probably what that is let's go to help oh shoot not help sorry uh, yep i have gnome it's i have gnome eog so there you go it's got that um it's got grandpa you can do your fonts i'm sure it's got those it's got your pdf viewer it's got gnome disk utility in there and disk usage analyzer in there already so it's got time shift installed on system monitor let's open that up and see what we're looking at for resources see what kind of computational resources it's using uh it's not using a whole lot of my processors just a little bit across each one uh for memory it is using 1.2 gigabyte of my four that it's been given uh and the ethernet is the ethernet so that's kind of cool seems pretty decent not not super heavy but not exactly lightweight either uh it uses gedit for the editor now uh, let's go ahead and uh open up the software center let it do its updating thing and uh let's see it seems to be up to date so it downloaded the most updated things um it's your standard you regular gnome software center you can install whatever you want from by just simply like we'll go to play <clears throat> it's going to propagate its games it's going to take it a minute and here we go. Let's see. Let's open up. Is that Minecraft mod pack? I'll riot software. And we click install. And it's doing just that. And it's installing it from the flat pack. As you can see in the upper right hand corner here, it's using the flat pack to install it. So. So there's that. We're waiting for it to do that. It's almost done. 65%. <laughs> I don't want to cancel that out while it's in the middle of doing that because I just want to, you know, let it do its thing. But it's taking forever, so I'm gonna hit cancel anyhow. Either way, so so it's just that simple to install on here. Uh, the file manager is probably using GNOME files, so we're gonna go here. Oh, crud. Damn it! About files. Sorry files so it's using the gnome files um your calendar right there probably using regular old gnome calendar uh so that that's all that it comes with uh installed anything else you want to install on your own uh <clears throat> it's like i said it's new it's lightweight uh it oh up here on the right hand side also your calendar in the, in the middle of the the bar at the top is your calendar along with your hidden notification center and then over here on the right hand side is your standard power session user volume and internet control when you click it it's got all three of them tied into one you can do your wired connection here you can turn it off or adjust settings there you also have your settings that you can get to through there you can also get through settings by right clicking on your desktop and you can also go through the activities launcher and go to settings right here so there's all kinds of different ways to get to settings. So, um, and then of course your power session, you can log out through here. You can just suspend, log out, power off, restart, all that good stuff. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, what I wanted to display, and like I said, it, it's preview. So I'm sure they're not done adding all the things that they want to add to it. Uh, it's got the new Amethyst, the AUR helper that's in there for the, for the package manager. Uh, for pac-man uh it does use a malachite that helps uh the repositories com configure the repositories and stuff like that the uh jade installer was kind of cool i, I kind of got a little lost it's kind of kind of to me it was semblant to the anaconda uh installer for fedora with the partitioner uh in the way you you check the to do the manual partitioning versus the automatic partitioner. Uh, what I did like about it is that it was in a dark theme that I thought was kind of cool. You know, that it was in a dark theme as well, but it, it's actually a pretty simple installer to use. It was pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do minus the whole partitioner thing. But when you switch it from manual to automatic and going back to the automatic verse from the manual, I mean, I could have done the manually, but it 
that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video was to kind of give an over, overview of it, which I did. So, I mean, I like I like what they've done. They, they've got a, a fresh angle that they're putting on the three core component parts of a distribution outside of the packages. You know, the, the installer, the desktop field, they redid the desktop, which is a customized GNOME. And then they added those other core components, the installer and the, and the AUR helper. So I think it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty awesome distribution to to fly with i i also liked how it was kind of like the uh calamaris installer where you could install all the other different desktops in there as well uh that was kind of cool uh that that i dig you know because i would have you know you could uh, install your tiling managers through tiling window managers through there as well you could probably do two or three desktops at one time to install at the same time so besides their onyx you could also do the other ones too i didn't want to do all that because like i said i just want to do a real quick overview of this so crystal linux keep an eye out for it not sure when it's going to be released but it's a new arch based distribution coming out that is going to be it's based on stable lts kernel so it's going to be pretty stable it's going to be rock solid it's going to be a growing process so in the beginning there are going to be some bugs there are going to be some fixes that are going to be need it's going to be in my mind's eye kind of battling the garuda and zero linux play in the sense that it's going to be a very customized beautiful look and feel and uh, it's going to add a lot, a lot of eye candy for gnome derivative that it has built in so uh, that being said yeah guys give it a try when it comes out keep an eye out for it y'all keep doing what you do keep on linuxing y'all have a great day yeah crystal linux that's going to be something to watch out for. Going to be good.